New Nest Pie Case. What? The American dream is alive. Kind of. As you can see here, there is a new competitor in the Nest Pie case. They're even titling their product Nest Pie Case. So they're definitely going directly after the market of people that like that Nest Pie case. Now, after first look, you'll notice, well, it looks more like an Atari than it does a Nintendo, and it's black, it's not gray. Is this even a Nintendo? And you're right. You're definitely right, but let's see what's going on. Comment below what you think about this, but let's check them out side by side. This currently is not available. It is not made by Ness Pi themselves, the retro flag people, uh, because you'll notice we'll do a little side by side comparison in just a moment here. But I have some good news that the LAN cable has been relocated, well as let's hope that this one doesn't have crazy pricing like the Nest Pi one does. All things aside, the Nest Pi case is still a big contender, but this is good news that there are gonna be some competition entering the market. And when items like this hit the market, there'll be a third competitor and a fourth competitor. So overall, whether you hate or like this case, it may indirectly help you as far as acquiring a Nest Pi case and the Nest Pi case going lower in price. So let's just have a quick overall look at this case. You can see here on the front, it's got the power reset there. They are colored, they're not discreet. The, the micro SD card slot looks about the same. You got the four USBs up front. Um, you got some ventilation there on the side. Uh, you do have that SD card storage, and this is where typically you would see the Nest Pi logo here. And as you can see, it's actually called the Proceeds.cn. So different company altogether manufacturing it in China. And you're going to be able to find these on Alibaba and things like that as the design gets released. I mean, it is a complete copy of the, of the Nest Pi case, but you can see here that it now has the LAN on the side, not the front. So it does. Oh, and you can shut those two USBs there. So here we go, front to front, you can see this has a curvature on the bottom. This one is a perfect rectangle. Um, this one has the flipping mechanism, just like the original Nintendo, where this one has a sliding mechanism. Uh, this one, you can actually magic erase the front here and change it to Nintendo, so a lot of people like that. And the buttons more resemble the Nintendo. Um, this one says NES case on it, but it's in a font that looks nothing like Nintendo. It looks like an aerial font or something like that. And then it's got the name of the actual device here, the Proceeds, which... Poseidon, uh, I don't know what they're going with that. Does have this cool little red accent though. Um, and then you got the, the land thing can be shut or open so make it look more discreet or you can make it um, have land connected directly to it. You can see each of them have the little rubber grommets. They have the ventilation. This one actually has one extra slot of ventilation. Not a huge deal. They both have that storage container for your micro SD cards. But one says retro flag on it. The other one says the proceeds on it. As you can see, if you just look at how where the lines are on these cases, you can see it's almost an exact replica. So where the boards are going to fit and where the pie is going to fit within the system is probably going to be almost identical. The other thing is people don't know if it'll fit a fan or not. They have not mentioned anything. Where the next Pi case has mentioned that you can add fans into your case. So adding a dual fan or a single fan is possible on the Nest Pi case. I'm sure it will be possible on this case as well. Whether or not it'll be as easy as it is with the Nest Pi case, that's another question. As far as the seller itself, Yikeshu or Yikeshu, however you want to say them, they do sell other retro uh, gaming devices. They sell the 8 bitto style controller. They have some uh, USB controllers. They have mini fans. They sell the uh, 8 bitto line of controllers. So they have established themselves as a retro provider. However, whether or not this will be a success or not, I think that's totally up to how they execute on this. So far what I've seen is a lot of people are upset that this does not look like a regular Nintendo system. I think there'll still be a market for it as it does look like a gaming system in general compared to a lot of Raspberry Pi cases. And if the price is low enough, I think a lot of people are still gonna get a system like this. In my opinion, if it's under $20, it might be worth checking out, especially if they have the fan support and it looks as promising as they're showing in the preview here. 
As far as with the Nest Pi case, I think overall this is actually a very good thing because as I mentioned in the beginning of the video, let's see prices drop on all cases. Whatever the case be, let me know what you think. If you're interested in a Nest Pi case, I'll put links in the description. They go up and down in price on Amazon all the time. You can find them on eBay for about 25 bucks. So post those links if you did want to grab a, a set of those. They are still for sale no matter what everyone else is saying. You just got to check regularly. Although they fluctuate quite a bit, they also change so often that just checking one day over the other, you might see that it's available again. Don't forget to like, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and we'll see you guys on the next one.